Today we're going to be trying this keto bread I found at the grocery called Oro Wheat or something. It's supposed to have three net carbs, so it shouldn't kick you out of ketosis. Um, if anyone's tested their ketones and ate it, let us know if it kicked you out or not. And also, I don't know if it's good or not, so we're just going to see if it tastes good. What did you guys think? Did you like it or not, if you have had it? All right, so for this egg sandwich hack, you would normally add butter, but I just tried this and failed miserably, and I used the last of my butter, so try not to be too upset, but we have to use avocado oil. Um, all right. Now you're going to add some eggs to your pan. Normally you would use butter, I know. The last slide was very sad. Yes. All right. So now we're going to take this bread. It just looks so white. All right. Um, and we're going to add it like this. And we have a tiny bit of butter. I just don't think it's enough to really... Like, maybe we'll just add it to one slice. And then we'll use the avocado oil for this slice. It's so depressing. I know. Whatever. At least it's not canola oil or something that will cause inflammation. VT Madrigal, you did not like it. I love you, Eric. It will be okay. Thank you so much, Lady Elect. All right, we're going to let it cook this time on low heat. I think part of where I went wrong last time is the heat was too high and the eggs kind of burnt without cooking fully. So here we go. Use mayonnaise. Yo, shout out to mayo. Um, oh, add some seasonings on there. We could season it a little. And I've been using this everything Flavor God seasoning, but a lot of people have had bad experiences with Flavor God. So, um, so I'm not necessarily endorsing it. I just, it just, it's like simple because it has everything in it. All right. Spread the oil around. All right. Okay. There we go. All right, now let's pray that this time it works when I try to flip it. And I'm wearing a shirt that I really like, so I may take my shirt off when I flip it because, oh, you guys are saying the bread is so dry it doesn't absorb the oil. Yes, the stove is on. I have a brush, uh, Queen Leah. I actually have a brush that my woman bought like two days ago. How cool. This is not a cast iron pan. It's just a nonstick pan that we got at Home Goods. Lift the corners of the egg so the uncooked part can seep under and cook. What does that mean? Like this? Mayo on the bread inside. Hmm. We're definitely not going to flip yet. The heat is on. If you can see, there's a very small flame. Wait, is there? Yes. All right, if this next flip is a fail, I'm going to be so sad. Just move the pan in a circular motion to let the egg spread. Like this. Cover the pan so the eggs can steam. 
All right, that's a good cover. Maybe that's a good idea. Is this too large? Yes. Wait, someone said no. Okay, I'm gonna cover it. I don't know what brand this pan is. I just know we got it at, um, what's it called, at Home Goods. At this point, just make toast in the toaster and an egg. I know, right? Oh, if you cover it, the bread may get soggy. That's a good point. Um, Uh-oh. We'll just cover it for like 20 more seconds, and then I'll take the cover off. Okay, people are saying don't cover it. All right, I think the egg will be fine. Let's just say a little prayer. Yo, Lord, please be with anyone who's struggling to make this sandwich and help it please flip, amen. All right. I think it's good to flip. I think we're gonna be all right. I think... I think we can flip this thing. I know we can flip this thing. People are saying don't flip it yet. Okay, we'll wait a second. Yes, we have cheese and bacon that we're going to be adding. And we're using American cheese. You already know the vibes. American cheese is the greatest cheese of all time. Um, it may not be the healthiest, but it tastes the best. Put some respect on American cheese. All right. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, please Lord, please Lord, please, oh please Lord, let this work. Oh my God, yes, it's a little burnt, I don't care, whatever, I hate burnt eggs, but I don't care, we got it to flip, so fine, um, all right. We said a prayer and the Lord answered our prayer. And that's just proof that if you ask the Lord, he will give it to you. Um, I've been very blessed in my life and I've always turned to the Lord when I needed something. All right. Maybe I'll do it like this. That's not burnt, that's crispy. Yo, you already know the vibes. All right. Now you just fold the edges in. Maybe I used like too many eggs or something. All right, here we go. And now we just flip this thing. Um, oh my gosh. It could be a little more toasted, to be honest. I 
I wish I didn't run out of butter. I feel like this would have been so much better with butter. And I'm also just gonna try the bread by itself whenever we um, eat this thing. I use three eggs. All right, let's get this heat off. All right, we're just gonna toast this bread a little more. Hot sauce, yo, shout out to hot sauce. I wanted to get some more avocado oil in there. This bread is weird. It's like not absorbing the oil. I have a feeling this bread is not gonna taste that good. I don't know why, I just have a feeling. All right, now we can turn off the heat. Oh my gosh, it's smoking in here. All right. By the way, I've run out of, um, of butane fuel for this little hot plate, but there's still like a tad bit in here. Can I put this in the trash or is there like a safer way to dispose of this? All right, anyway. Dip it in something to cover up the cardboard taste. <laughs> All right, ketchup. I'm gonna put ketchup on this thing. God, the seasoning was a bad idea because it just looks black. Um, All right, I'm gonna put this pan in the dishwasher and I'm gonna get a serrated knife to um, cut this. I find that using a serrated knife to cut things is just way easier. Dip it in salsa verde. Now that would be super bustin'. Oh, look how cheesy it looks. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, yes, okay. Oh my gosh, yeah. Quit playing with me. Put some respect on my name. This is about to be busting. Put some respect on the Lord's name. He answered our prayer. Um, oh my gosh. Look how melty that cheese is. Put some respect on American cheese because if you're eating your healthy, natural cheddar and you're afraid of processed foods, it's never gonna get this melty. Here we go. Oh my gosh. That was a serrated knife. I, I think the little, um, the serrated edges or whatever, the, how it's like jam, that sounds bussin'. All right, let's eat. Let's freaking eat. Let me just take a picture of this. Oh my gosh. I have the camera here, although I don't know if we'll put this in the book because it's just a little too, um, like I don't know what the bread's gonna taste like, so. Oh 
Oh, do you guys want to see Emma? Oh. Uh, all right. One more picture. Oh, yeah. Bussin. All right. Dust some confectioner's swerve on top. Oh, my goodness. All right, here we go. I need a larger plate. What's a Monte Cristo? All right. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh my God. The sandwich is amazing. Mm. It's like so good. It doesn't even matter what bread I use because the sandwich is so good. Mm. But before I finish it, I just want to taste the bread by itself. For anyone who is wondering how the bread itself tastes. No, ew. ew. It has no flavor at all. So this is good because of the sandwich. The bread, all with solo bread for life, or a wheat, not a fan of it. Um, I'm, it just takes on whatever flavor you're making a sandwich with, but the bread itself is just not that good. So if you buy this, this is the only keto bread you can get. Make sure you're making it like as a grilled cheese or as like a fried sandwich, you're not just Expecting the bread itself to taste good. All right, back to the sandwich. Mmm. Oh my god. Exactly, Queen Leia. It just doesn't have a taste. It's fine. Mmm. Oh my god. Mm. Girl, you can definitely do keto with high cholesterol. Um, I'm not a doctor, and that's not medical advice, but it's actually the right thing to do. Mm. Because when you cut out carbs and sugar, your triglycerides go down, your HDL goes up, and that's really what matters when it comes to what's gonna protect you from heart disease. It doesn't really matter if your LDL or total cholesterol goes up. Again, that's not medical advice. That's just the latest science. All right. Mm, well. mm. Just made keto nachos with the Hilo chips. Mm, that sounds awesome. Even though these eggs are a little burnt, this sandwich is so freaking good. What was your highest weight before keto? 240. Mm. Can I get an A? It's bussin. A, it's bussin. It's really bussin. Mm. Mm, God. Mm. 
Saturated fat is totally fine. Saturated fat is only unhealthy if you combine it with a high carb, high sugar diet. All of the studies that showed saturated fat to be harmful were not actual studies on the effects of saturated fat because they were the people who ate the saturated fat also drank soda and had bread on their burger. Like they were like, oh, burgers are bad for you. Obviously, if you're eating a burger with bread and having a large soda and fries with it, obviously. But when you take saturated fat on a low carb diet, it's actually very good for you. Mm. Nikki and Olivia are making the garlic knots from last night. That one was so good. On keto, Karen is no longer diabetic, no longer hypertensive. Cholesterol has been corrected. A1C is normal and lost 202 pounds. Let's get it. Shout out to Karen. Blasian is down 27 pounds in two months. Congrats. That's amazing. Mm. Um, there isn't a best flavor of Hilo chips. I like them all. It just depends on what you crave. Like, what kind of Doritos did you like? If you liked the Ranch Doritos, you'll probably like the Hilo Doritos best. Or the Hilo Ranch Doritos. Oh my God. All right, let's get spiritual up in here. That was bussin'. Yanni made the egg roll in a bowl today and you loved it. Hey, let's go. You can definitely do keto while pregnant. Again, that's not medical advice, but a ton of people have successfully done that. All right. And my mom got this present for Emma's birthday. It came in today. Made the queso dip with sausage that you made, but I used equal parts cream cheese to Velveeta. Then use Hilo Nacho Cheese Chips as the vessel. Oh my gosh. Whoa, that sounds so good. Uh, I don't count the calories I eat in a day, but I just eat until I feel full. All right, let's get spiritual up in here. Yo, Lord, please be with anybody who's struggling on their keto journey and help them realize that they have the power to change their eating habits. Thank you for bringing this amazing community together. We are so blessed to have each other. And most importantly, thank you for giving us life because every day we wake up is truly a blessing and we should never, ever take that for granted. Amen. All right, let's get this breathing exercise in. Breathe in feelings of gratitude. Hold it and feel your body relaxing. Breathe out any stress or negativity. Breathe in feelings of inner peace. Hold it and feel your body continuing to relax. Breathe out any tension or anxiety and remind yourself everything's happening exactly as it should be. Breathe in feelings of self-love. Hold it and feel your body continuing to relax. Breathe out any self-doubt or negativity and remind yourself that you are beautiful and you are worthy of reaching your goals. All right, let's get spiritual up in here. Close your eyes, relax. Imagine that you are in the grocery store and you're approaching the aisle that has the carbs that you crave the most. Imagine you're approaching the candy aisle and as you walk up to it, normally you're afraid and you don't wanna go into that aisle. But imagine today you feel calm, you feel in control and you feel ready to Prove to yourself that you're stronger than you thought. So you go into that candy aisle. Imagine you look at that bag of Skittles and you say, I used to think I loved these, but now I know the truth. I don't want these. 
I don't need these and nothing good would come from having these. And imagine you keep walking, you see the bag of mini Kit Kats. You say, I used to think I loved these, but now I know the truth. I don't want these. I don't need these and nothing good would come from having these. Imagine you make it to the end of the aisle and you see some Hers some of the cookies and cream bars, oh, those used to be so good. And you look at those and you say, I don't want these, I don't need these, and nothing good would come from having these. And then imagine you go make yourself a keto dessert, like the keto Reese cups I'm posting right after this live. Get ready for that. Um, all right, guys, I love you. I believe in you. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a blessed night.